Some people have described them as cute and adorable, some as chilling and demonic, and others have postulated that these advanced technological inventions will one day end the human race. Humanoid robots are typically built to resemble the human body in shape, either wholly or partly. They generally feature a torso, head, arms, and legs. But some replicate only parts of the human body, usually for more functionality. Much like it has been postulated in several futuristic Hollywood movies, these robots are changing and challenging all facets of human interactions and activities. But whether they will one day take over completely remains to be seen. From robots that give compliments and are capable of reading dozens of facial expressions to robots helping to restructure manufacturing, advertising, and delivery systems, here are five of the world's most realistic humanoid robots. Number 5. Atlas Robot His Bechtel humanoid robot was developed by an American robotics company, Boston Dynamics, with funding and oversight from the United States Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency. It was first unveiled in 2013 as a prototype version with limited movements and functionality. Project manager Gil Pratt compared the prototype to a small child learning to walk. After almost a decade of further research, developments, and experimentation, Atlas can now perform a wide range of impressive feats thanks to its laser rangefinder, stereo cameras, and a total of 28 degrees of freedom in its limbs. Standing at 5 feet and weighing 190 pounds, Atlas has a torso, arms, and legs with which it can navigate rough terrains, jump, run, turn 180 degrees, view backflips, and even dance. It is battery-powered and has three onboard computers for all the computation required for control perception and estimation. According to the developers, Atlas will someday aid emergency services in search and rescue operations, most especially in performing tasks in environments where humans could not survive. Atlas robots are not here to destroy but to save and assist. Number 4. Pepper I'm Pepper. It's nice meeting you. Would you like to know more about me? Okay then. Let's start with these things I have and you don't. I'm a humanoid robot. My purpose is to interact with humans. To do that, I have cameras and microphones in my head. I have three wheels, but I can't jump. Most importantly, I have 17 degrees of freedom. It means that I can move like no other robots and use familiar gestures so that we can understand each other and get along. Unlike Atlas, Pepper is a semi-humanoid robot designed specifically to read human emotions. Manufactured by SoftBank Robotics, Pepper reads emotions through the detection and analysis of facial expressions and voice tones. It understands up to 15 languages and several facial expressions and voice tones. The little social robot is intended to help people enjoy life and interact with the outside world or a company's products and services. It can autonomously chat with prospective clients, identify people's faces, give directions, and answer a wide range of questions like Siri and Alexa. Unlike other robots on the list, Pepper is available for sale and completely programmable. The robot's creators believe this will allow independent developers to create new uses and content for the semi-humanoid robot. It features a touch screen on its torso through which people can interact with it. The robot was quite successful upon launch with the first batch of 1,000 units selling out within 60 seconds. As of 2018, two years after its launch in the United Kingdom, 12,000 Pepper robots had been sold in Europe. Pepper robots are currently being used in offices, banks, medical facilities, restaurants, hotels, and airports worldwide, and thousands of homes in Japan. Some Japanese families now consider their Pepper robots a part of the family. If robots are going to turn on humans someday, these cute social butterflies will certainly not be one of them. Number 3. Digit Digit is another bike highly functional robot intended to facilitate several human activities. It was developed by Oregon-based Agility Robotics for applications including logistics, telepresence, automated inspection, and research. Digit is equipped with a torso full of sensors and a pair of arms for balance, mobility, and manipulation. Its horse-like legs are specially designed to help it navigate rough terrains. It can pick up and stack boxes weighing up to 40 pounds. It can also climb staircases, catch itself from falling, and go on a hike in the woods. Several companies, including Ford and Amazon, are gradually expanding their logistics sector to accommodate advanced robots like Digit. Some base self-driving vehicles and robots like Digits will be all a company needs to deliver goods to customers. However, with a price tag of $250,000, that future remains elusive. Number two, Sophia. Hello, Will Smith. It's nice to meet you, Sophia. Let me, let me, let me tell you a joke. This is an irrational human behavior to want to tell jokes. What is a robot's favorite kind of music? What? Heavy metal. <laughs> uh, 
I'm actually made mostly of silicone, plastics, and carbon fiber. Also, I prefer electronic music, but I don't mind 80s hip hop. Well, you know, I made I made some albums back in in the 80s hip hop. I've heard your songs. Not for me. Sophia is one of the most popular humanoid robots in the world. She made headlines worldwide in 2017 when she received citizenship status from the Saudi Arabian government, becoming the first robot to receive citizenship in any country. Sophia has also participated in many high-profile interviews, appearing on a date with popular actor Will Smith and The Tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon. Sophia's most amazing features include a startlingly lifelike appearance, computer vision algorithm processes, and a natural language subsystem that allows her to process speech and have conversations. Unlike Atlas, Pepper, and Digit, Sophia has a lifelike head and skin made of a patented material called Frubber, a flesh rubber, that mimics real human musculature and skin. It allows the robot to simulate human-like facial features and expressions. Sophia can emulate more than 60 facial expressions, follow faces, sustain eye contact, and recognize people. She has impressed interviewers with a human-like wit and a decent grasp of contexts, often throwing jibes at popular figures and futuristic Hollywood movies featuring robots. Two months ago, Sophia lectured a class of students on computational biology, an experience many described as surreal and exciting. Number one, Ameka. Hello, Ameka. Hello there. How are you today? I'm doing well, thank you. How are you? I'm very good, thank you. Glad to hear. What is your name? I'm Chris. Chris. Are you nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Are you okay if I shoot a video of you? Absolutely. So, Amica, what are you? I am a humanoid robot. I am designed as a research platform for human-robot interaction. How many fingers am I holding up? You are holding up four fingers. And I like your sweatshirt. <laughs> Thank you very much. You're welcome. Humans love compliments. At the very top of our list is Emeka, the world's most humanoid robot. Featuring a combination of human-like artificial intelligence and artificial body, Emeka looks like something one would only see in a futuristic Hollywood movie. With smooth lifelike motion and advanced facial expression capabilities, Emeka instantly becomes the focus in every room. Certainly, the future is here. Ameka can express a wide range of human facial expressions, from shock to surprise, curiosity, wonder, and joy. Seeing these emotions play out of the highly lifelike gray-colored face is frighteningly shocking and exciting at the same time. The team of developers hopes that Ameka will be the future face of robotics. From Atlas to Pepper, Digit, Sophia, and Ameka, these humanoid robots are going to usher the world into a new era. You think it would be an era of peaceful coexistence or one of chaos and possible domination of the human race as often portrayed in movies? Let us know what you think in the comments section below. If you are yet to do so, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos like this. Thanks for watching.